Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and Klein's got a new screwdriver out. This is the Klein Tools 16-in-1 Impact Hybrid Driver. The part number on this thing is the 32516HD, I assume hybrid driver, not high definition. Um, and what's going on with the hybrid is, well, it seems to be something that Klein is, uh, is really into. Probably, a, maybe they have a department of hybrid. Um, or a vice president of hybrid or something like that. There here are some hybrid pliers where they literally took some, you know, features from a handful of different plier models and stuffed them into one. Or they took one of their famous needle nose and then added strippers and bolt, bolt cutters there. There are probably dozens of different hybrid screwdrivers and nut drivers um, of various vintages from Klein that include ones, you know, currently in production and, you know, lots of uh, retired versions. Klein actually made a pair of Knipex Cobra-like pliers that had a jaw that came off and was reversible, giving you both kind of the, the hex bite as well as more of a flat jaw bite. Um, and then, you know, we can't forget Klein's uh, hacksaw. So I've got a hacksaw here, but it's got a port on the front end right up here so you could take a blade from a reciprocating saw you know anything you want there and screw that in and now you've got a completely different kind of saw um, great design real convenient um, if that is what you need now I'm wondering if part of it might be because Klein's core value centers around like multimeters which multi well many things so maybe they are just used to adding other features they have in their lights i mean you took a simple light like this it's area light let's add a clip let's add a magnet let's have a add a swivel base let's add a phone charger you know i remember the days when we were kind of excited when some flashlights came out with an area light on the side so you could literally find your way to where you're going and then step you know snap that to the surface and then do some work while you're you're there, you know, fuse box or whatever. Um, anyway, so let's take a closer look at this, a little bit closer look. If you want a super close look, go to Pine Hills, Project Pine Hills YouTube channel. I'll put a link below uh, where he really details every little aspect of it, compares it to some similar things as part of the Klein Connect system, which this is a part of. Um, I'm going to go over it quick, but let's talk about some of the philosophy too. So first of all, what we've got is what they say 16-in-1 tools. Uh, on the back end, there's a bit carousel. uses standard quarter-inch one in, or quarter-inch hex one-inch bits. You can see there are ten of them here. The orange uh, label there means that they are part of the their impact ready. Uh, Klein calls it the ProFlex energy absorption or absorbing torsion zone. Seems like the smaller the feature, the longer the name. Um, but anyway, so up at the front end comes with a bit. So we have 10 in, uh, in the magazine there and one in the chamber. Um, and then, of course, this looks like a nut driver, which it is. Um, however, you need to slide it down um, or reverse it, you know, just like that. But once you pull it off, there's the magnet. If you've got the magnet in hand, um, well, now you've got an, a magnetic pickup tool as well. So. I think that's the 17th tool, just to cut to the point. But once you put this on, um, you push it all the way forward in order to make that magnet actually work uh, on the screws. So then it will hold them just like that, uh, but it doesn't hold the bit. So you need to pop it out one notch and then it holds the bit just fine. Um, and of course you'd do the same if you want to reverse it and throw a 5 sixteenths on there. So that's pretty handy. Um, if you take this out, you can use it, of course, in your uh, impact tool. You know, that's the impact ready part. Um, on this, this end here, we've got that quarter inch driver there. Does it work with other stuff? So I've got a really long uh, Milwaukee uh, extension here. Yeah, I could put that in. Um, with this much weight on the front end, with this attachment, you want to be a little careful you don't drop that in, but yeah, you can certainly um, throw other quarter-inch drive attachments onto this handle. Um, now, let's pop this out. What we've got on the other side is a 3 8 inch anvil for driving sockets. So I could easily toss a 3 8 inch 
uh, socket on here. And now I've got, you know, a versatile nut driver. Now, here's one thing though I did notice. Uh, this can be a little tough to yank out of there, so you might have to use pliers, depends. Um, this does not fit, however, um, into a uh, one of the, the flip sockets that Klein has. Um, if I, even if I can get that into it, because this is too short, so you would need to use a different adapter if that was the point. But the reason I wanted to talk philosophy is some of these features seem to, like here I can't get that one out, grab it with my pliers and pop it loose. Um, some of these features make me think that this has a, uh, a potential opening into automotive tools. So yeah, you are, I mean it's definitely a, a hard nod towards electronics, but you could also easily use this for, you know, any the quarter inch drive stuff. Um, really with stuff like, uh, if you're still using hose clamps, you know, the quarter five, six, those are always, um, usually the two driving screws on those. Uh, you could flip it around and use it to drive sockets. Um, and then of course that full complement of various bits. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, are they bridging out just a little bit from their, um, you know, the world of electricians? Possibly. Um, and then when I started thinking about it a little bit more, here's one for Klein. Um, I love my Klein knee pads, but wouldn't it be nice if there were some options up here? This is, you know, how it folds on your knee. And sometimes I want, uh, you know, I'm, I'm stuck, you know, whether I'm up in an attic or under a sink or wherever, it would be nice to have, I don't know, how about tool storage up here? Or maybe even just fastener storage. Um, or how about lighting? You know, to be able, I, it would be nice when I've got both my hands on something if I could manipulate my knee somehow and put a light right where I needed it. So, you know, can you imagine pointing a couple of flashlights forward? Anyway, um, I started thinking if, if all hybrid is on the table, let's really start combining some different things. Have some fun with it. But overall, you know, it's a, it's a welcome addition into Klein's Connect system, um, and yet another set of variations. Kind of fun. Uh, let me know your thoughts. And with that, Doc out.